Welcome back again today, guys. Today, we're going to be talking about or actually looking at some African AI generated art. So AI stands for artificial intelligence for the people that don't know exactly what it is. And now you can actually generate art online using AI technology. And so I thought it would be very interesting to actually like look at some of the generated art and technology. There's probably at this point, millions of people doing it all around the world, generating AI art. So it's something interesting. I don't a hundred percent agree with it, but I also don't a hundred percent hate it. I'm just here trying to figure it out. It's still a new world. It's still a new thing, at least for like probably the common people, including me, maybe in the in certain industries, they might've had it for years before it was released to the public. They, they probably did, but I'm just looking at it from a perspective of creativity more than the actual should humans be doing this versus should a computer be doing this or like uh, algorithm be doing this. So we're going to jump into today. Today, we're going to look at some African architecture that was generated by AI and let's get right into it. The first one that I have right here, let me see, is so this looks like it's based on a traditional Egyptian pyramid which I think is super duper duper dope. And the thing about pyramids are, they're probably one of the most perfect structures that exist, right? Like the triangle structure, at least when it comes to like uh, houses or architecture. If you notice, there's a lot of places in the world where the top of a building or a house comes to a point and it's like in a triangle shape. Um, I don't really know 100% like the structural rigidity of it but i'm pretty sure a triangle has high structural rigidity this is my car side coming out my car got materials and different metals and different like materials that they use in cars but i can sort of kind of translate that to architecture i'm pretty sure it's very similar as far as how they use different types of materials and things like that and i can see right here i can see a big door that would open up maybe it would like slide to the left or slide to the right and then you could walk into your house and I could definitely see this in the desert somewhere in Egypt, maybe in the Sahara Desert, throughout the Sahara Desert, maybe in like Northern Nigeria. This is really hot. I like this design actually. And as you can see, like I love certain things about African architecture and I, you'll see in my last video that I did about African architecture. One of the things that I love about African architecture is everything is not where it's supposed to be everything is not symmetrical, right? And that's the thing that I love about African architecture. This of course is AI generated, but that's the thing that I love about a lot of African architecture is that it doesn't have to be symmetrical, but it still works with the eye. And also there is some symmetrical elements to it, but those are sort of kind of things that you can't see unless you really study the architecture and you're like, okay, this is actually, chaos in a way right but it's also controlled chaos this is a pyramid style house so i could see this throughout you know the north africa area anywhere where there's desert i could see it in northern nigeria egypt sudan niger i could see this everywhere where there's desert um and especially throughout the sahara desert i actually really like this i also like the textures right here going up and down the side of the pyramid that's actually dope i wonder if that could be used for some type of aerodynamics or maybe to make sure certain ways where you're facing, if the wind hits it, it can go through those pockets and, and maybe create some type of vortex or something. I don't know. I'm just going off the top of my head of aerodynamics right now. This is the car guy in me, but maybe that could be those, those little ridges could be used to redirect air to the back pyramid. And maybe the back pyramid could have an open window to where maybe you can have like extra cooling in the desert and it can like go through that window and come down into that, that second pyramid. I think that would be actually pretty dope. Now the back pyramid, it sort of kind of looks like this is a extension of the house or it could be like storage of the house, but it's sort of interesting because if you look, let's say, if you look at the side of this pyramid right here, right, it could be going down further. So maybe it's actually a part of the first pyramid, but 
you have to go through the middle passageway of the house to access the second one. If you go too far to the left on the first pyramid, you're not going to be able to access the second house and vice versa. So if you're too far to the right on the second pyramid, then maybe you won't be able to access the first pyramid. This is dope. So let's go to the next uh, generated AI architecture. So let's go to something that I guess would be more. Let's, let's, let's try this one right here. Okay, so this right away, as soon as I see this, this gives me like flower vibes. This gives me um, like a blossoming flower. And there's actually, maybe I'll do a video on this, but there's actually a lot of different symbols throughout Africa for flowers, right? Like the symbol of a flower. And this sort of reminds me of a couple of them I know from different tribes and different countries in Africa. And like I said, I like this type of shape because it's symmetrical in some ways, but then in other ways, it's not symmetrical. And you put that chaos, but it's embodied chaos or controlled chaos together. And I think that's what the beauty of a lot of African art is, is that everything doesn't have to be symmetrical but then again in some cases it can be symmetrical and then in other cases it can be symmetrical and not symmetrical at the same time it's really this is really dope but i would like to see more organic type shapes being made in africa and i actually had a thought what if you have different african themed houses throughout the americas right like maybe some pockets in the caribbean already already have them or they're like a transformation from African to Caribbean and a mix of two things, right? If you think about uh, the houses that Rastaman build in Jamaica, right? You can say that has a huge African influence to some extent. But if you look at like North America and then parts of South America, it would be dope if like the predominantly black neighborhoods or all black neighborhoods would introduce an African architecture and build houses in the African way. You know, some of the colonial houses, some of the French inspired, British inspired, and Spanish inspired in America are actually sort of dope. Some of them are dope. Some of them I like. Actually, in the Midwest, too, we have very like uh, modern, modernistic, simplistic, or I guess you could call it contemporary. I don't know if that's the right term. But we have those houses where they're very like bricky and modern. And I love those, but because some of those are actually really dope. But it would be dope to just see majority of black communities, especially uh, in America, like adopt a majority of black places, African architecture, African houses, like Ghanaian style houses or like Sudanese, like Nubian Egyptian style houses. I think that would be really, really dope. And so this is nice. I like this. Very organic windows throughout different shape windows. Right. But also, if you look at it, it's still symmetrical to some ex extent but if you look at this window right here right it's not necessarily symmetrical right you have a long line right here then you have another line then you have a little line right here and then it, it it slants back here right so if you cut it in half it wouldn't be the same on both sides this one is a little bit more symmetrical this one is pretty much symmetrical right so you have all these differences in this controlled chaos but if you look at the shape of this flower type building, it's probably symmetrical in the sense of if you cut it in half, it might be the same one. So let's go on to the next one. There are actually, hold on, let's see if it loads up. Okay, there it goes. There are actually different types, and I forget where they are in Africa, what tribe, what people they belong to, but there are shapes like this to where the houses, half of the house or part of the house is like hollow, but this goes and plays on the fact that you don't need to fill in every little area for a structure to be stable and for a structure to be strong. Actually, and I'm only using this because this is some, and I'm only using this because I'm in this world more and I, and I study this a lot, right? But in the car world, you can actually take out parts of the metal or the carbon fiber or, you know, the steel, whatever type of metal you're using, right? The aluminum, and you can take away parts that are not needed to still make that structure and the structural rigidity is not compromised from taking parts of the metal or parts of the material from the inside so if you build it a certain way and you have a certain material you can come up with this type of concept which i think is really 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 interesting i like how the lights on the bottom part come up and maybe to be honest with you there's lights but it could also be this actual material that's being generated by the AI, maybe it's a futuristic material, or maybe it's a copper mixed with gold, or maybe it's just a you know organic material that's 
uh, mixed with some type of metal or whatever it might be or it could just be lights but I thought this was really interesting I think things like this will give Africa more of a distinct look like I can see this as a museum or maybe a library maybe like a futuristic library so let's go on to the next one let's see when I looked at this one earlier I thought this was nice so this is or you could say this could be like a modern house maybe in a beach type area so somewhere close to the water right somewhere close to the ocean I could see this in South Africa I could see this off the coast of like maybe Ghana or Senegal but this really gives me South African vibes I don't know why it gives me it just gives me South African vibes maybe I've seen houses like that in South Africa and like Durban or something like that I, I can't really remember but it does give me South African vibes and I like this because if you look at it the whole structure is sort of kind of wrapped around or built around the glass so the glass is like a cylinder in the middle see this there's like there's like a cylinder of glass going all the way up and then after you build, build this cylinder of glass you sort of kind of organically build this frame around it and i find that very appealing i don't know why i find that very appealing because to be honest with you i think that the future of architecture in some places in the earth could be more organic feel or maybe even we might go back to actually integrating the structure into nature right like sort of kind of blending in with nature if somebody's coming from outer space and they look down they might just see mountains and grass and ocean but then we integrate those buildings within the environment or to sort of kind of mimic the environment which i guess you could say it has always been done when it comes to architecture but mimic the environment in the sense of you actually look like you live in the environment or you actually do live in your environment you can think about houses that are built in the ground um especially in america they have some throughout i mean they even have one here that i've seen when i drove to the country some some guy built his house in the ground and you can just see little windows it was actually really dope and he parked his truck and it was interesting so i like the the wraparound of a structure and the glass cylinder in the middle is the main focal point to me and you wrap around the steps going up and you wrap around the structure on the outside that somewhat protects the glass but also probably gives the glass even more rigidity this is a word you're going to keep hearing me say right the strength of the structure and just the makeup of the structure now when it comes to aerodynamics when it comes to how the wind hits certain places and things like that don't really know if ai uh is taking into consideration aerodynamics and things like that i mean yeah in certain industries like the aero aero industry the car industry um probably if people are really using it in the house industry but this is just you know random artists making random ai so i'm pretty sure there's not um any aerodynamics going into it but let's go ahead and look at another one this one sort of kind of has the sun behind it i think hold on well maybe it's not the sun but maybe it's another structure but what i like about this it sort of reminds me of the teeth of a whale right i think what is it the sperm whale or maybe it's the great uh i forget what the 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 biggest well is i forget what it is but wells if i'm correct they have teeth like that so they have like millions or thousands of small 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 teeth and this reminds me of a well's mouth like when a well opens his mouth to get a lot of krill or fish or other things that they might eat this reminds me of that and so i don't know if this was inspired from animals because if you know a lot of african architecture or fighting styles are from nature and when i see this I see the flow of organic design and I can see this as an amphitheater. I can see this as an outside theater where people play music in the future, maybe like, I don't know, 500 years from now, a thousand years from now in Africa, they could play music, they could play art, they could have gatherings here, maybe even weddings. Like this is really dope. I like this. And then obviously you have a structure in the back that is probably similar to that, or maybe that's the main structure. So that's really dope. Or I didn't realize that there's a little bit of water coming in here too. So maybe this could be some type of filtration system. Maybe I'm looking at it wrong. Maybe this could be some type of system that goes through a whole bunch of teeth that have filters on them. And maybe it gives clean waters to, to some uh, traditional African um, tribes at that point.